time. You're going to call up your rigorous investigation. You're going to publicly state that there is no underground group. Or these guys are going to take your balls. They're going to send one to the New York Times, one to the L.A. Times, press release style. Look, the people you are after are the people you depend on. We cook your meals. We haul your trash. We connect your calls. We drive your ambulances. We guard you while you sleep. Hello folks, this is Brett Keen. I was working on my website today and I received an email from some clown who basically stated, Brett, you know the haters are not going to stop. You know we're not going to stop. We're going to continue to go after you until no website, no hosting company will be willing to deal with you. No company would be willing to host your videos the whole nine yards. The haters, obviously, their agenda is to get me off of the net, to have my videos removed, whatever trace of existence I have completely gone. I thought about it, what was said, about the threat, and I realize I've had six websites before, before I even started doing YouTube. I had designed websites and everything like that with forums and the whole nine yards. And somehow they got attacked and, and put out of business. I've had forums that have had thousands of members. I've had websites that were very, very popular. One was called GodHateYou.org. And I even had a sister site called GodHateYou.org. Very popular. They still got hacked. So it's been nothing but bullshit for me. So I went over and I basically contacted the company that I invested money in and um, got my fucking money back. Deleted the website. I still have everything backed up and all the files and stuff, but I don't feel like doing old work. I don't even see why I should anymore. I don't see what the point is. Uh, some of you can bitch and whine and say, oh, the haters won. There's no such thing as heroes and villains and all that bullshit. There's simply people out there that are very bad, very terrible, and... The Constitution, although it's pretty clear what the hell the rules are, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, you get all these damn companies out there that claim to be private and have their own fucking rules outside of what the Constitution says. And they remove you and they delete you and they fuck you all up. And they don't care. <laughs> People don't care. I had 3,000 subscribers over at YouTube, and there's a good chance that quite a few hundred of them subscribed long ago and basically went on their merry way and didn't bother to come back to YouTube, leaving me with about 2,000 sub subscribers. When I come over to live video, I only got 560 of the subscribers back. And most of the time, I don't get no comments, no ratings, no nothing. There's a few comments here and there. And I've been noticing that it's only because some people from live video who actually have been here for a while made some comments. Not because of YouTubers I know. So it's obvious to me that a lot of people have fallen for the bullshit. It appears to me that if enough people make enough hate videos and say whatever they want, make accusations, people will believe it. Or maybe I just got old. Maybe people got tired of watching. Who knows? I don't know. But I know that I don't care about uploading videos anymore. I know that I don't care enough to debate religion and go through this bullshit. I know that I don't care enough to spend the fucking money to put forth on And I just can't take that anymore. I 
game is mad as hell, okay, and I'm not no. going to take this anymore. We live in a world where people can pretty much take a dump all over you. Doesn't matter. It's obvious to me that Christians, as well as a lot of atheists out there, are afraid of me. If they weren't afraid of me, they would try to silence me. They would simply leave my channel alone. They would quit making videos about me, hiding in the shadows. They would simply go the fuck away. But it's obvious that they're going to spend all day reporting me, trying to hack me, do whatever it takes. It's fear. I intimidate people. And that's what it is. I don't try to intimidate. My only <clears throat> point for making videos in the first place was to try to help people out and educate people. And I have. A lot of people have been educated from my videos. A lot of people have changed their ideas on things. A lot of my videos provoke thought. I've gotten tons of emails where people told me I changed their life and all that stuff. I've even had Christians email me and tell me that they've become a better Christian, that they've got more to think about now. And it's made them realize what atheists are about. Unfortunately, because of what atheists have done to me, as well as some other really cool atheists, a lot of people realize now that atheism is like everybody else. It's just a, a fucking gangbang and bullshit group. That if you disagree with people, then you're fucked. So that's the deal. I don't think I'll be uploading any videos anymore. I'm going to take a very long break and relax. I'll look at my forum and everything. I'll leave that up, but... Who knows how long that'll last. Who cares anymore? I really, I really don't give a fuck anymore. I just don't care. That's the, that's the deal. There's just so much a motherfucker can take before he just says fuck it. I'm as mad as hell, Nobody's I'm protecting me. Anymore. Nobody's fighting for me. A couple people made some videos where they defended me a long time ago when I got banned off of YouTube, but. That's it. You know, it's bullshit. So. I hope you all have a good life. Do not fuck with us.